Hello everyone, it's Tatum again. Thank you for joining for the third video. Today we will, we will be focusing on calendars, which is a great aspect to Berlin journaling because it helps me stay organized with my life and make sure I put in all of my events. So while I go along for each calendar um, outline, you can really get a feel of what your favorite um, layout is depending on what your life is like. So for me, my, like for example, my favorite is when there's a little bit bigger boxes for each day so that I can put every single event in and also note some side of the calendars. It's really helpful too. So I will make sure I say what day the month starts on and what day it ends. So just to be really clear and how many days of the month there are. So let's do this. This is August, where the first day is on a Saturday, and the 31st, the last day, is on a Monday. It is a simple eight-column grid, so there's four columns on each page. One column is reserved for notes for each week, and the last seven are for the days of the week. There are 30 days in September. The first day is on a Tuesday and the last day is on a Wednesday this year. I'm following the sushi theme and I'm trying to make the grid a little more in so that there's more room for the sushi. You can see where the 30th day ends. I don't even continue to the other grids just so that there's more room for the cute sushi designs. First day is on a Thursday and the last day is on a Sunday. Obviously there are 31 days ending on Halloween in October. For the days of the week, I used candy corn, well not actual candy corn, for um, labeling the days of the week. I cut out a little tiny piece that was shaped like a candy corn and I just traced it so it was a lot easier so I could get the angles right for each day. And then I just did the grid behind it. And for the letters, I did a little bit of a different design. I did stripes and I'm gonna color them in later with Halloween colors with like purples and oranges and autumn colors. Then I do doodles and I do the same kind of thing with the shading. It's really fun to shade a pumpkin because um, there are the little lines that you have to um, move around so you make the orange darker there and then there's some browns obviously for the shadowing underneath and then some brown for the stem.
November has 30 days. The first day is on a Sunday. The last day is on a Monday. And for the days of the week, I used a scarf, um, an ongoing scarf, to label all the days of the week. And then lots of acorns and leaves for the scenery around it. December has 31 days. The first day is on a Tuesday. The last day is on a Thursday. I did a little bit of a different format this time. The days of the month, the boxes are a little bit smaller, but in lieu of that, I had a big box, two big boxes on the first page where I could write notes and events. And then I decorated this page with icons from different holidays. Here is January. The first day is on a Friday and the last day is on a Sunday. There are 31 days. For this one, I did five columns on the first page and two columns on the second page just because I liked doing this cool pattern, which I'll show you in a second. Here is the pattern in a little bit of a simpler form because it's kind of hard to see up um, from far away but that's just what I did you don't have to do the same thing and on the second page there are notes goals and events places where I can write all these things that I might have for this month Here's February. The first day is on a Monday and the last day, the 28th, is on a Sunday. This one was really fun to do. It was a little more difficult because I had to figure out the spacing in between the boxes because I decided to do them separated. Um, and to make sure that I wasn't doing more boxes than I needed, I just put an X through a spot that I needed to keep open. And then I did hearts everywhere because February and Valentine's Day. Those are discorrelated. And 
then on the second page I had a column for where I could write notes for the month. March has 31 days. The first day is on a Monday and the last day is on a Wednesday. This is definitely a different format than we've done so far. I had all the days on just one page because maybe there are some people who don't need to know the day to day, but just the overall lookout for the month. And then I had leaves as the theme with calligraphy as the title. Here's April, it's a really simple design where there are separated boxes like February and a column to do notes in. April has 30 days where the first day is on a Thursday and the last day is on a Friday. Here's May, the first day is on a Sunday and the last day is on a Monday. This was one of my favorite because of the koi pond and the koi fish. So this is definitely one if you like doing art more than the task, if that makes sense. So there are boxes on the second page to do notes. So here is May. Here's June. The first day is on a Tuesday and the last day is on a Wednesday. There are 30 days. For the heading for June, I used block letters, well, just uppercase block letters, and I did them first in pencil, and then I just did a horizontal rectangle across June, and when I go back with it in pen, like I'm doing now, I can just ignore the lines in the box, and it makes it a lot easier and then I um, number all the pages and I color and erase. July has 31 days. The first day is on a Wednesday and the last day is on a Saturday. For this one, I had space for notes and I went in thin pen, but then actually I made a mistake and I, in the lines, I accidentally slipped. And so I just decided to make it thicker and I actually like how it came out. And then I had firecrackers as the theme with stars for the 4th of July.
thank you for joining me for the third video. I hope that this helped you get more organized in your life. Come back for the next one. Bye.